Hello and welcome to a film mixologist. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm putting the finishing touches, touches on this uh, 32 DGV World Cup. And what I'm going to do is obviously give you an update on if you've watched the previous video from last week, you'll see that this car was in an absolutely calamitous um, state, and now I've got it to a place where we can well sell it basically. Um, one of the comments that I sometimes get on the channel in the questions is that I don't show the whole process about how this is done. Now on this particular unit, uh, unit uh, there is a good reason for that is because as I started rebuilding it I've realized that actually I shouldn't have done this because these cubs were a bit too far gone and therefore uh, probably it's not going to be worth my time in terms of the time I'm invested in this unit I'm not going to get it back in terms of the purchase price so that's why I don't necessarily recommend that you do this I mean I could do it because I've got lots of hundreds of tools um, and I know how over the years but really it probably shouldn't have been something that I would have done but I've realized too late on in the day I was I was well into the project so I said you know I might as well just carry on so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the the little bits about how to improve the flow how to power tune this kind of 32, 32 carburetors. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it, <coughs> bring the camera around here, because what I need to show you is the modification that I've done here. So I put lower profile uh, throttle screws here, and I cut the throttle shaft, one side of the throttle shaft. And the aim of that, of that modification is to permit a higher amount of airflow through the throttle plates and that would help the carburetor at at, at at kind of wide open throttle to flow more than if it was uh, than that if it was not so let me show you what i mean by showing you the comparison in this um the lordo dhla 45 now in on this side what you can see is kind of like a set of standard uh, throttle screws with a standard shaft there it is and as you can see you've got a restriction here and a restriction here with the with the screws as well now on this side what you can see is kind of something that is kind of half done so i cut this i should cut the, the rest of the bits but i haven't done it yet and then you can see that there is the remainder remainder of the throttle shaft and these quite a low profile throttle screws. So this already presents less of a restriction than this side. There is some other things that you could do. So some people, they can, if you have specialist welding equipment, you can take this bit of the shaft off. And if you plug weld this to hold for the screws, what you can do is you can weld the throttle plate to the, to the shafts there. And therefore, the only restriction you would have on the barrel is the actual just the throttle plate, just the throttle plate. So that's one thing that could be done, but that's kind of quite advanced, and uh, I think it's, it's it's not necessary in this particular unit here. Now, so if you remember from the last video, this was like totally seized, and now it has a very smooth, nice throttle action, which is what you want. Um, again, this has all been kind of cleaned up. Uh, properly and the other thing also is that I had to put a brand new power valve here uh, in this assembly hopefully you can see it there so now what I need to do ah important there are a couple of things I forgot so in this particular unit what I've done because I've done this work of doing the the cut throttle shaft I put 10 points on the jet in the secondary as a as a kind of reinforcement for the jet so so i made it slightly richer on the secondaries for for the jetting and that and that should compensate for the additional flow at wide open throttle and um, the other thing that i wanted to say is 
if you look at the codes here, 23, 24. So if you got this modification like this, one of the things you could do is you could enlarge the diameter of the Venturi by kind of cutting it with a, with a reamer or something like that up to five points, five mil less than the diameter here. So if this is 32, it will be 27. So 24, 26, 24, 20, 25, 26, 27. So you, you, can, you can do three mil wider here and it will still work perfectly well with this modification. So it's like what I call the rule of five. Um, so now the, the, the only thing that that that's missing for this unit is obviously I need to I need to you know put it together. Yeah, I need to put the auxiliary venturis that I didn't want to put so I can show you how the how the modification works. Uh, and the choke, obviously I need to I need to set up the choke. Uh, but apart from that, it's kind of ready to go. It's got new gaskets, obviously new needle and seats. Uh, it's a it's a rescue unit. I don't I don't think I should have done it, but I've done it. So now it's done. Might as well just uh, just send it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. And I hope you got something out of this. Uh, how to power tune this kind of small world carburetors.